Hey everybody, I Gears here. Welcome back to Kona, episode number four. So here we are at the garage, and uh, just about ready to start inspecting. Keep getting our bones warmed up here. Carl oh, deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Hmm, that is interesting. So basically, there's a pin down here, which is straight south of where we're at. Then there's one up here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take a picture of that. Maybe there's more pins. Is there more pins up here? No, I don't know. Let's take a picture of it though. Where's my camera at? Where's it at? There it is. Ah, oh, we'll keep that. Pretty good. All right, let's take a look at this Weird hat. stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? Who knows? Ah, here we go. So what does this have to say here? There's no... I get the feeling there's supposed to be writing here, but it just goes dark. It doesn't make sense. I need to look at something specific in order for it to translate. I'm not getting any translation here. That's that's weird. Oh, there's a ski do information. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I just need to start. You know, restart the the game. I'll try that maybe in the next before I start the next episode. I, I just get a feeling I'm missing stuff there with the uh, the read not working properly. I thought you're supposed to have dual everything in English and French in uh, in Canada anyway. What the heck de developers like the only ones that don't do it hammer. Oh nice like that like that. All right. These scribblings were undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's head. Oh, is he trying to... UFOs? If Spaceship blueprint. person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. Hmm, I don't think so. Maybe off the ledge and then just straight down into the, uh, into the ravine. Where his lawn chair is, but, uh, that would be about it. Yep, I called it vampires. Okay, well, am I missing anything else here? Let's see. Well, I can't complain about me being hungry because there's food everywhere. I'm just not allowed to pick it up. Alright, I'm pretty happy with this. What do you say we go ahead and adventure down to the south see what that pin has what that's all about time to move and move quick huh there's no way in here is there oh there is hold on uh oh so we're gonna have another one of those uh flashback things yes Oh, wow, a spaceship. Okay, should we go outside? What do we do? Go back towards this red thing? Aha. Okay, let's head over here. Fire. Can't get out. Oh. Someone uh, locked him in there and knocked over a lamp. And then he froze to death. That 
Makes complete sense. I'm not, I'm not following. That's where he freezes, right there. Hmm. All right, well. Fumbling around in the dark here. All right, can't see crap. Can't turn on a flashlight. Hmm, maybe take this plate, fly the spaceship out of here. I don't know. Ah, oh, something up here. Okay. So he threw something up there. All right. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Really? You just climb up the shelf and knock it down. It's not that difficult. That's what we got here? Too many orange juice bottles. All right. More hardware. Repair spaceship. Hey, let's do it. The shape of this machine almost straight out of star trek was out of the ordinary to say the least must fly this thing like this thing could fly up into space at any moment it was an indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that carl was lacking i need to move it what do i need to do took the headlight off of it so now we have two headlights hmm not sure what the point was of all that. Oh well. The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. Okay. What's this thing? No. Nothing worthwhile. Worth a shot, right? Nah, I don't think it's gonna do much. Okay. Note on the refrigerator. The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. Ah, I already got it. Yeah, see the reading isn't working. Normally it would have the words here. Something's wrong with that. Let me let me restart the game, see maybe if, if that'll fix it. I don't know. Can I actually go back and read these documents? I hope I can. Parts letter, parts manual, no. Yeah, the parts manual, we'll check on that. Is that one I should be able to pull out and then read? Wait, let me exit the game and come back. We might have some reading to catch up on here. Okay, everybody, so it was a bug. I went ahead and reloaded. And now we could get a lot more information out of what we were looking at. So, spaceship blueprint. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, blueprints for a weird, weird spaceship. That wasn't on there before. As you can see, that's what's supposed to come up on the screen when it sort of gets a little dark there. Okay. So, let's check out the other things that we've picked up that we've missed out on. Parts manual. There we go. Take a look at this. There we go. Much better. Suspension. The suspension has way, too, has way too many parts. Taking the puzzle part is easy, but putting back together is another story. I shut everything up but the tracks. I left them close by. I wonder if they're down where the pin is. Ski, don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. I'm misplacing parts of the machine. Regine, 
came to help me work on the machine yesterday afternoon. For the most part, he helped me chug my bottles down to the last drop. I think we tried to ski or something. Bad idea. Still haven't found that one ski we lost in the process. So, who knows what's going to be down the path there. Probably all these lost items. So, page two, body. Make a nice beach uh, chair pad. Oh, okay, so that's what the... That was what was on the... Uh, the uh, lawn chair there. Just need to get all the parts and reassemble it. Electrical lamp is pretty well made, suitable for even for use even in the harshest winters. I think I'll place it on my top secret prototype in the garage. Space has got to be pitch black and damn cold after all. I have to hurry up and fix this machine if I'm to travel around the powder snow all winter. All right, I've managed to untangle and replace the brake cables. Dead on time for October now. How about a nice and light blanket of early snow to let the fun begin. So we're 1969 stunts. They're a blast when you're 12 and you go ahead and break your brother's bicycle, I suppose. Well, I met, I managed to damage my beautiful brand new snowmobile after only two days of acrobatics. Fixing it up will take a while. I'm thinking a year at the very least, damn it. March 1970. I need to get my hands on that yellow suit, yellow suit, including the helmet that goes with it. Just like the ad, I'll order them from the bay. September, what, eBay? Is that is that how eBay started? Back in the 70s. Uh, September 1970. I think I'm done, that's all that's left. Install the parts, get the spark plug of, of order, check. Find some wheels, ignition key, I think it's on a bunch of, my bunch of keys, which should be in, on the generator powering my top secret workshop down, down south, okay. So that's what's gonna be down there, there's gonna be another workshop, in which I'm working on my equally top secret machine. Anyway, I gotta find that key. Now that I've siphoned off the snowmobile's gas to feed my truck, I'll have to refuel it. I have I have fuel, and I know where to get fuel. I have, well, I have an empty fuel can, uh, canister. All right, wonderful. That helps out so much. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's keep reading, because I think we have a couple more things. Uh, police letter. What's this one? Yes. Uh, dear Mr. Lamoth. Following up on your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village's territory. Manifestly, what happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression on you, and we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible regarding the future potential complaints. Let me know that the judicial district of uh, Abitibi does not believe in little green men. Regards, Pierre Valjean. Clerk of something of Quebec, it looks like. All right. Okay, what else have we got here? Letter to Lamoth. Man, I'm just gonna have to go through all these, aren't I? Okay, dear Mr. Lamoth, here's the spark plug you ordered for your Olympic ski do. This model is very popular and has made it difficult to find brand new part as quickly as usual. Well, normally if it's very popular, it's easy to find parts because they're all wrecked and they've mass produced a lot of parts. Okay, whatever. Thank you for choosing Garage Potvin, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. Next. Caribou recipe. White whiskey. Sherry wine. Wow, that would have been helpful in the last episode. I'm just going to go through all of these guys, just real quick. Quebec liberation will happen by force, or not at all. We will prevail. Okay. Don't think there's going to be anything worth reading in here. Got a little bit of cash. What else have we got? Tales and Legends. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not gonna read this to you guys. I will read it and move along as we go. You guys can pause as needed. Tales and legends. I'll oh, screw it, I'll read it. There was a time when hate waged war. Our hunters could decimate the great wolves who had taken our children. Our warriors could snap the necks of the cowards who had reached for our supplies. The deafening sound of rock and bone breaking was enough to uh, satiate the hate and the rivers of blood would express our remorse and apologies. Thus. 
was balanced, man, man, maintained. Then came the whites. Oh, okay. The legend of the Wendigo dates back to a time before what anyone would but the tallest trees can remember. A time of great cold and great aspirations, when the ships came and spewed men, and their fire cannons, uh, plagues, and spinelessness. Uh, balance broke forever, the dead were piling up on our ancestral lands, too many bodies covered in moss, too much blood spilled in our st stone, on our stone. Our bone-breaking hate did not suffer any longer. One day, a young warrior who had lost everything, nieces, brothers, par pa parents, and hope, fell to his knees in the middle of a small clearing, covered in blood of his fiancée, killed after having crossed the path with some whites passing by. He had seen everything and called out to the Great Spirit. Uh, called out to him with words that came so natural, naturally to him. Words that could only create a great river of blood and guts and a terrifying roar of screams. He called out to, they, uh, he called out to him for a force that would not, that no one had had before. He became Wendigo. The whites were decimated under the icy claws of the Wendigo. The great tide of blood even pushed a few ships back out to sea. But the Wendigo was not done, not yet done with his vengeance. For as long as the heart of one of his fiancé's murderers still beat uh, on Cree territory, he would prevail. The elders say it was the force of the ancestors' uh, return to nature that turned the young warrior. In the, this clearing where many ancestors had been buried in centuries past, a clearing now covered in blood, spilled unjustly in a time where too many bodies were being buried, the ancestors heard the cries of the young warrior. Only in a remarkable time like this could the Wendigo have been born. His vengeance satiated, the warrior became Wendigo, uh, went to rest forever, his frozen heart melting, melted and disappeared, much like the real snow coming uh, come to the, come the spring. The storms that had befallen the Cree lands faded as well. There was much celebration, balance had been restored, but the whites came back too. White hatred is never sa uh, satisfied by rock and bone turned to dust. They arrived by the hundreds, armed with guns and torches, burned down every village. Never before had a balance been so deep for the Cree people, and ever since. The unbalance, sorry, unbalance. Uh, it has been told that one should be satisfied with the rivers of blood brought by hatred, despite the wrongfulness done to them, because remarkable hate comes at far too uh, steep a price. The Wendigo was never invoked again. But in the hearts of the Cree people remained a fear that one day a young warrior would once again call out with uh, remarkable hate. Because they know through the wisdom uh, brought by this legend that the Wendigo would prevail. But that this victory would come at a great cost. The whites would come back. The whites would rule. None would be spared. Okay. Alright, well that definitely helps clarify things a little bit. It looks like... Uh, Someone has invoked a Wendigo, it looks like. Medical files. Never did catch her name. The men called her Laurie. She had a neck wound and there's so much blood. Bullet had gone, done lots of damage. Probably had a cerebral. I read this one earlier. Cardiac arrest. That small town like this, you just turned a bone eye. Okay. Yeah, I already read that one in a previous episode. So we're going to gloss over that one. Uh, I think I read that. Oh, I think I got all these over here. Yes. Magazine. Mm, pretty sure. I know that we started there, so let's check out magazine just to make sure. Oh, yeah. There's nothing new there. Okay. That's what they're talking about. All right. Well, let's head to uh, Crazy Man's base number two. So we're going to head on south here. Straight south. Secret pro Oh, see, there it is. It's marked on the map, actually. Oh, nice. It updates my map, because right there's the, the little uh, campfire that I found. So that's kind of nice. All right. Well, let's head on down there. See what kind of trouble we can get into. I wonder if there's anything I can actually put on this. Did I already go in here? I think so. I think I did. Oh, I can fill it up here? Oh, well, I don't have to go all the way back to the gas station. That works. Anything in here? No. 
Well, let's see if we can do anything here. By following the plan, place Carl bench. was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about place the track. vicinity. Oh, what do I need? I need a track. Okay. Oh, it's probably at the secret base. <laughs> Light and handlebars. I need some electrical. I need handlebars. Skis. I need a couple skis. Place track. Okay, so that's what I need. Alright, let's keep going. I don't know what this has to do with in investigating anything, but all I know is that whenever you get the chance to build a vehicle in a game, you build the vehicle. Alright, so let's... Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't stuff. found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. Alright. Well, of course, let's go ahead and get our pistol out. I'm sure there is a... You know what? I think I'm just going to carry the hatchet. Yeah, here comes a wolf. Are we going to have issues here? I need to fight this wolf. Hmm. There's a wolf blocking your path. What do you do? He's facing away from me. He's wagging his tail. Ah, he just wants to play. Alright, do I have to kill this wolf? Never thought he would be oh, wow. with the wolves. Well, one hit kill, that's pretty accurate. At least I didn't have like a boss battle with it. That would have sort of spoiled the mood. Alright, let's keep going. What we got here? A little grave? Whose grave is this? Hmm. Oh, look, now there's a little uh, window, too, on my camera. For some reason, overlays weren't weren't exactly uh, rendering properly. All right. Got another, in case we get cold, I guess. Start a fire if we need to. Got to get that hatchet out again. Break fence. Oh, crowbar, I guess, right? Okay. All right. What we got here? Fire starter. This looks interesting. Secret project. Alrighty then. That large antenna in the middle of the path. Undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men. Was quite awkwardly placed. There had to yeah. be a lever to control it. Maybe Bro, I see it. I see it. We'll have to figure out how to reach it. I see it. I just need to go up this way, apparently. The question is, what's going to be on the path waiting for me, right? There we go. A bicycle? Ah! Game over, man. I can't do anything with it. Oh, man. Oh, well. I guess we have to go. Go the long way. Glad he paid his electric bill. Can I just jump over? Oh, jeez. Just let me jump over, please. You know, there's gonna be something on the way back, right? Nope. Maybe. There's still time. No, that's it. Alright, so we made it to the secret project. The electric terminals appear to be linked together. But for what purpose? So that's oh. where the generator key was hiding. All that was left. Oh, to unlock the door. Alright, so we need to figure this out. Alright guys, I think this is a good spot to leave it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys are enjoying. It's getting interesting. Was that some electrical... Yeah, looks like there's... Some arcing going on over here. So we need to be careful. Alright. 
Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.